So they got you all eating less salt. By the way, salt is, is you are a machine. Your heart is electrical, right? The, the EKG, beep, 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 okay? It is an electrical thing, okay? It is just as electrical as the laptop or the, the phone. It is electrical, and the battery are called electrolytes, okay? That's the battery, and salt is a great source of electrolytes. Sodium is an electrolyte. So you need more salt. Okay, listen, my wife watched this episode of a doctor, some Dr. Oz or some nonsense on ABC years ago and started cutting back on salt. And I was so upset. I said, you believe these people, right? I was so upset because, you know, you can't just look at a person in a white lab coat and buy that nonsense. Either God is right or they're right. But when you understand man tinkers with God's creation and then tries to put the blame on God, and we as Christians fall for it. That's why we're, we're where we are. We fall for it. So your issue with uh, acid reflux or any of that stuff has to do with weak acid. You can make that acid weak, water and salt. Try to get like sea salt or some unprocessed salt, okay? Because they never do those studies, high blood pressure studies with that type of salt. They do it with table salt and they do it on purpose because they ain't stupid. They need you to believe that. And they need the doctor to believe that. That's why it's done. So I'm sorry, that was my spiel on, on acid reflux. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I just was, you kind of answered my question. I've been on acid reflux medicine for probably 15 years. So to make your acid stronger in your stomach, you're saying use regular or salt without the other stuff, the glass in it. And, um, Water that can help to cure this acid reflux. Yes, and because um, should you stop oh, taking the medicine or start to try to correct it and then stop taking it? So one thing I would never tell anybody is to stop taking any medicine. Okay. Just because I, I don't know your okay. particular thing, okay. right? I can tell you about the lifestyle aspect of things so that you can make those changes. And, and if you find that the blood pressure is is uh, the acid reflux is gone, then you can tell your doctor, hey. I don't need it anymore. But that, that they are the ones that can determine that. But I would say do that and digestive enzymes. Um, what is it called? It's called pepsin, um, something called pepsin, which is also really good on top of, of uh, the plain salt as well as water. Uh, a molecule, uh, a digestive enzyme called pepsin. Just fantastic. And you, it's not me saying it. There are people on YouTube and find people who do whole videos about how they reverse their acid reflux just with those things. Uh, Lots of people. Dr. Cedric, yes, is kosher salt uh, a good salt to use? I've heard of kosher salt. I, I, what, what do they do? Like, what, what, what has been done to the kosher salt? Because I don't know what has actually been done. I don't know. My, my grandson just brought a big box and he didn't tell me the reasons why. Okay. Box See, and put I, it in the so I don't know what has been done to kosher salt, so I really can't speak on it. But I know that there are salts out there that are much healthier than than table salt. Table salt is the because it's not even salt. We call it salt, but it's got six things in there. Last time I counted, right? So they but they blame salt for whatever nonsense it causes, and that's wrong. Because either God is wrong or doc doctors are wrong. But they can't both be right. And I choose to believe God is right. Because man, man messes up. Yes, sir. Uh, 